大家好 ，It's Miss Kaka， 我是佳佳老师。In the previous videos, we've explored Ida and Yoda separately. Today, we're bringing them together for a comparison. Let's take a look at their parts of speech. Ida is a quantifier, while Yoda acts as an adverb. Interestingly, Yoda can also be dissected into the verb Yo and the quantifier Ida. In this case, both Ida and Yoda can be used to describe a small amount of something when modifying a noun. When pairing ida and yoda with adjectives, the adjective's placement is crucial. With ida, the adjective comes before it, creating a comparison between two entities or circumstances. However, when using yoda, the adjective follows it, typically carrying negative or derogatory implications. Moreover, when yoda is followed a verb, it expresses the same meaning, and the verbs usually relate to mental or psychological actions. In contrast, ida cannot be paired with verbs in this way. That's all. For this episode, please stay tuned for the upcoming episode for more future content. 关注我，订阅我的频道，跟我一起学中文。